New here at 6 o'clock, viral vectors have become a unique and essential tool in creating vaccines, cures to diseases, gene therapy, and cell research. It's basically a lab-created virus that is meant to tackle disease. KIMT News 3's Sonata McCall joins us live from the Hormel Institute, where a group met earlier today to discuss the importance of these vectors and what's at stake. So, Sananda, what is being done there in Austin? Hey, Cami. Well, as we know, there are tens of thousands of diseases that are affecting humans, as and there's no cure for a lot of them. And part of the problem, as far as I'm told, is that there is a lack of facility space. So in order to address that, a, 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 academic and industry partners came together for a viral vector core consortium workshop, which was here at the Hormel Institute in partnership with the University of Minnesota. And the goal is to come up with ideas as to how Minnesota can create a larger facility for gene therapy, which possibly could be at the U of M in St. Paul or at the Hormel Institute again here in Austin. Currently with the sizes of the facilities at the Hormel Institute and the University of Minnesota Twin Cities campus, there is only enough space and tools to create smaller batches that can be tested in and Animals. Now, with a larger facility, scientists and researchers can develop higher quality and quantity doses that can be tested in humans. Now, to put this into perspective, a professor at the U of M Twin Cities says one investigator has created a virus out of the common cold that could kill pancreatic cancer cells. But he's been waiting since 2019 to get enough of the viral vector made to actually be clinically tested. It's very important to all of us to come together, uh, not only by developing new cures, but also producing those uh, new cures that they are affordable to the patient of all, uh, you know, ages and races. This is the future of medicine, and we have to be able to figure out ways to efficiently test all these new ideas, you know, making it possible to treat diseases we can't treat now. Now, Cami, scientists and researchers came from all over the globe to participate in this workshop here, which kind of tells how serious it is to be able to further this research. Live in Austin, Sonata McCall, KIMT News 3. Yeah, Sonata, nice to have that in Austin. A lot of intelligent people there in Austin today. Sonata, thank you.